The Illinois Central was well noted for its massive steam locomotives and its fast passenger trains. This is the story of that vast Midwestern Railroad from the 1950s through the 1980s. It is the story of one railroad which survived to revive its traditional image, at least in locomotives. Join with us now as we pass through almost 40 years of history on the Illinois Central. The Illinois Central built some of the heaviest 4A2 mountain-type locomotives in the United States. Here we see one of those mountain types as it hauls a freight through Kankakee, Illinois in the early 50s. Homewood, Illinois houses the Markham Yards, the largest on the IC, and one of the largest in the country. Construction started in 1919 and the yards were completed in 1926. Here we see a southbound hold up in a siding as a northbound pulls slowly past. These 284 or Berkshire class locos were numbered in the 8000 series. When steam was still alive, the roundhouse tracks were favorite train watching locations. Here one could find yard switchers resting between chores. A large variety of steamers were caught by the camera on this day. The 282 Mikado type locos were the mainstay of the IC for many years. Many were built between 1915 and 1917. Another one of the beautiful 4A2 mountain types heads northbound with a passenger run. We are most likely at Jackson, Mississippi. Shortly after, a southbound freight pulls by the camera headed by a 2A2 Mikado. and an E-8 had a passenger out of Centralia.
The city of New Orleans was one of the IC's crack passenger trains. This long train carries all matched cars in the beautiful orange and chocolate brown paint scheme. The loco shops at Paducah, Kentucky were renowned for their rebuilds of older diesels. Here we see one of those rebuilds. The final run of the city of Miami, train number 52, was appropriately photographed by photographer Jerry Carson. This was the last run to Chicago, and Jerry caught the train heading northbound at Centralia. Note the wreath on the lead engine. Amtrak would be taking over passenger operations the next day. Train CM1, Chicago to Memphis, next heads past the camera, this one also traveling southbound. A train of inland steel hoppers pulls through Centralia early the next morning. This one is headed northbound. 